Jesus has just healed a man of leprosy or this skin disease, this broad term. So news of him spread even more. And what happens next is the part we are likely to miss if we think of this strictly allegorically, if we only look at this from a point of view of sin, if we say, yes, Jesus can cleanse me from my sin, and yes, he can, but if we only look at it that way, we will miss something amazing. Because look what happens next. News of him spread even more, and huge crowds gathered to listen and be healed from their illnesses. Huge crowds gathered because they heard there were going to be lepers there searching for healing. There are going to be people with fevers, mysterious fevers. There's going to be people with, with uh, 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 women with, with flows of blood that had lasted for 12 years. There's going to be all kinds of probably contagious problems. Let's go to that super spreader event. And people did. Huge crowds gathered, not just to be healed, but to listen. Why did the crowds come? This is the first century. Nobody knows where these things come from. They're still talking about miasma and uh, malaria, meaning bad air. Why did they come? Let me, let me put it this way. Here's, here's the unique opportunity we've got we didn't have for most of the last 70 years. Let's suppose I sent out an email last night that said half of the people in church today will have COVID. Would you have come? 